I want to talk about one of the interesting chemical properties of phenol that we don't really see as much with alcohols, even though phenol and alcohols are definitely to some degree chemically related. So remember our phenol group. So it is it's essentially an, an alcohol aromatic, but it, it does kind of get its own classification. So we have, you know, our benzene ring, which we could also draw with a circle in the middle and a hydroxyl group on it, making it related to alcohols, but actually slightly different, almost worthy of its own category. And one of the reasons for that is that unlike alcohols, it is far more acidic. And so I wanna talk about the acidic nature of phenol, which will give us some time to uh, review um, some um, acid, base, and pH chemistry as well. So. So here we have our phenol, not to be mistaken with phenyl, which is very similar in looking, but that would be the benzene ring as a substituent. So the reason that phenol is acidic is because it can act as a proton donor. You might remember from previous chemistry courses that acids, when we you know, view them through the Bronston-Lowry theory, are proton donors. And a lot of times when, we, when we're when we talking about proton, we, what we really mean is a hydrogen ion because a hydrogen ion in general really is just a proton. Because the most common isotope of hydrogen only has, if I were gonna draw a really simplistic model of it, it's a single proton um, in the nucleus. It doesn't even have neutrons and it has one electron and they don't really orbit, we know, but you know, one electron in the outermost energy level. And so if it loses that to become an ion, a hydrogen ion, we essentially have, you know, no more s orbital, just a proton. proton. So that's why these words then can be treated um, synonymously. So um, we have this hydroxyl group, and that's the proton that can be donated. So for example, if you mix, we'll just draw the chemical reaction for it right now. I'll draw the other version of phenol just for simplicity. If you mix pure phenol with water, you would expect that proton to be donated to water and make, that makes that hydronium ion. And then what we get here is then a, an ionic version of the phenol where we still have our benzene ring. And then we have this oxygen that because it's kept the electron from that hydrogen, is is negatively charged and um, and so there that, that's that proton donor and sometimes we'll we'll just for simplicity we'll just say that it you know oh and it donated a proton we kind of leave out the role of water so again we now have like three things that when we talk about acids and bases um, we have to kind of consider as synonymous terms so it donates a proton and the reason that um, phenol does this where our alcohols tend to not so here's you know Here's a, you know, we have a really similar looking structure. Why does, why does it not very much donate? It doesn't have particularly acidic properties when it's so chemically similar. And it really has to do with the stability of, of this ion. Um, when it donates, because of the resonant nature that we see in the aromatic compound and the ability for these electrons, the electrons then can kind of join in this delocalized electron ring. This is a really stable ion, and so it, it kind of allows us, whereas when this does it, that conjugate is not particularly stable, and so it's more likely to accept it back. And so we see the, you know, that's one of the reasons phenol, uh, and it's another very common name for it, particularly an older name, is carboxyl acid. So that's a common name that you know you might you might hear or read about and um, and and kind of emphasizes that acidity. So just then to kind of review, let's talk then about you know we get our pH scale. So when we're talking about let's change color again. What color do we want, guys? Purple. Um, seven is neutral. So this is kind of like you know your your basic neutral water we would expect. And then as we, as the number gets lower and lower, so this is our pH scale, things are getting more acidic. As the number gets higher, um, it's getting more alkaline or another, that's just another way to say basic. And what pH is really measuring, and so this is kind of a good review concept from our previous chemistry, 
pH is really a way to quantify the hydronium. So the more and more of this, the lower and lower the pH gets, which I know can seem a little counterintuitive, but it has to do with the, the way it's calculated as the negative logarithmic function of that. And so as those H pluses or the hydronium increase in the solution, we see a decrease in the pH. And we'll be talking more about more and more about acids and bases in the next unit, so it's a good time to kind of review that. So phenol has a slightly acidic nature because of the stability of its deprotonated structure. Um, and that acidity even helps with the fact that it's used as a, as a disinfectant. And, and really why that carboxyl soap that you, you might read about um, is kind of harsh on our skin due to the acidic nature of the thing that it's made of. So let me know if you have questions or concerns.